TatteratCoach.com, a resident's first FACO chop. We have an anonymous video from a surgeon in Portugal, and he's doing his training, and this is video and surgery number 70. So 70 cataracts in, let's see where we are. Now we sped the video up to four times normal speed so that we can get through it in a timely manner here. So there's the paracentesis. Let's get that focus and the centration of the microscope and filling the eye with viscoelastic. Again, it seems a little bit fast because we have sped up the video to 4X. That incision is way too short, way too fast, not good architecture. You gotta do a better incision. Here comes the rexus starting with the cystitome and now doing the capsular rexus. And that looks pretty good. And coming around, so a little bit on the small side. So this is a capsular exodus and a little eccentric over there. So not the best capsular exodus. That needs a little bit of work. For K70, it's okay. The only part I can't forgive is that phaco incision. That was not good. So let's do some hydrodissection. And remember your signature. What's their signature? What does every other ophthalmologist who sees your patient 10 years later find out? What your incision is and what's your capsular exodus. Make those things as beautiful as you can. Here comes the FACO Pro going in the eye, taking out some of that anterior cortex. Let's see, burying the tip in here, a little bit more. Let's see if the chop goes through. And no, because we lost holding power. So try again. Try again, let's see. Buzzing in, chopper placement. There you go, you got it done. Remember, if you're holding the nucleus with phaco power, you have a finite window of time, about a second, maybe two, to hold that nucleus while you chop it. So that was a nice sub-chop to make a quadrant. That quadrant can be removed. So very nice. So nucleus removal is going fine. So I like the technique. Looks pretty reasonable. Good pivoting there to rotate the nucleus. Another sub-chop at the iris plane. I like it. Let's take these down. We've got half a nucleus remaining in the capsular bag. And let's rotate it again. And then buzz the FACO probe in. Let's see some good holding power. So it's going to be at least 400 or 500 millimeters of mercury vacuum. And then there's the chopper, and it can break the piece. So you notice that the chopper doesn't have to go way around the equator. You can do a combo chop here, or vertical chop. And that's because this nucleus has sufficient density. It's not that soft of a lens. And when it has that density, you can chop it pretty easily. And so let's see the last bit of nucleus here buzzing in and the chop. Nope, and there it is. And we'll take that out. So that's going fine. Let's see how the last pieces come up. Nice and easy, right to the tip. And then the epinuclear shell here, very gently bring that up. That looks great. So, so far so good. Now the draping could be better. Look at the lash margin there. Look at the eyelashes in the field. I know if you want to have your own surgery done, or you're doing your mom or dad's cataract surgery, I bet you want the draping perfect. Well, so does your patient. Remember, we want to give the surgery that we'd want to receive. So that looks nice and clean. A little bit of cortex, not too bad. Get that cleaned up. But yeah, that draping, see the lashes there? That's the source of endophthalmitis. So you want to minimize those risks. So here comes the coaxial um, IA for cortex removal. And again, note that you may have to change the sleeve or adjust it yourself. Don't rely on your scrub tech to do that. And so let's take a look here, put that in the eye. You can see that rexus is, is, a, is not quite centered there. It's a little bit closer to the pupil margin on the right hand of your screen and a little bit smaller than the left hand of your screen. So uh, waiting for that IA probe. There we go. And there's not a lot of cortex because the hydrosection was good. And cleaning that up, that sub-incision layer, of course, is the tricky part. And then almost done. Let's see what we're going to do for the lens choice. All righty. Here comes some viscoelastic filling up that capsule bag. And here comes the lens. Let's see what we got. Looks like single piece acrylic. Hydrophobic acrylic. Looks good. Going in the bag. Maybe that uh, AMO Johnson & Johnson Technus lens, monofocal, and let's clear out the viscoelastic. Let's see, are we going to go behind the lens or not? So cleaning out the AC. At case number 70, you don't have, necessarily have to go behind the lens. 
So hydrate the incision, clean that up. Yeah, that incision needs work and you're doing the hydration the wrong way. You need to watch some cataract culture videos there. So fix your incision, fix that hydration, the rest we'll work on. But that incision and hydration, no, not, not sufficient for you. You can do better than that, for dang sure. That Rexus, too. But the chop was beautiful. And we'll give you an A for the chop. Just fix that incision. Thank you.